during the beginning of this last season, you took over for Frank Darabont. What was that call like from AMC? Uh, it was scary, you know. I mean, Fra Frank had asked me to, I signed on to be Frank's number two. I went over to the show to work with Frank. And, and um, it, it, was, it was scary, you know. I mean, I, I, I had, um, I know what it's like to lose a show that you've created that happened to me on, on Crash, so I just felt that it was a, a painful situation for him, for the cast, for the crew. I know what it's like when uh, uh, a cast that's been, you know, selected and gone through a pilot and it gets on the air and, and that's very exciting and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the, the creator's not there. That, that's, you know, a big challenge to them. And so I just, I just, you know, went in and um, listened to the cast and just said, you know, I'm not going to be the new sheriff in town. You know, we all have to pull together and get through this crisis and, and just, and, and it's, I'm not going to try to be Frank Darabont. That's not fair to Frank. That's not fair to me. And, and there'll be a script coming down the road that'll be in my voice and it's going to create a panic. And they all were like, okay. And then we released that script a few weeks later and it created a big panic. And so, so I listened to all the notes and just went through and rewrote it. And, if, and the fact that I listened, I think, um, made them feel better. And then the next script was okay. And the next script was okay. And, and really, I think what got me through and got us all through that was I went back to the writer's room then, which is in LA. And I said, you know, everyone expects us to fail. We have to pull together. And those writers and I just kind of wrote through the night and did draft after draft and found the show that, that we want that we wanted to do. And and uh, you know, we have great producers, Gail Ann Hurd and, and Robert Kirkman and, and and others and and people just kind of rallied together. So it was it was it was kind of uh, a challenge for us, but it, it was it was scary. And did then, you see it coming? Or I did not see it coming. No, I, I did not. I was completely surprised by that, you know? So, so, you know, and then, and what was challenging through the process was I had, I started to have a feeling of what I th thought the show should be, but it was different from what we had done, okay? That just as I started writing it as, as a showrunner. And, and, um, and I just kept saying, it feels like this, it feels like that. And then by the end of the finale, people said, oh, now we get it. You know, so, so now I have, a, a, you know, at least seven episodes that I could say, oh, that's the show, you know, that I, that, I want, that I feel I can do. When the show returned, the ratings were higher than ever and the acclaim was there. Did you feel vindicated at some? Uh, no, I was just happy to, mm -hmm. to be out of the woods. You know, uh, I, ne I never wanted it, you know, to be a competition between me and Frank. That's not fair, you know, and, and to clarify the earlier point, you know, I knew we had trouble on the show. We had some problematic, we had a problematic season premiere. So I, I knew we were working on a problem. Um, Budget-wise or shooting or? Just, just, just the, uh, the story didn't hang together. Mm -hmm. The footage came in, it wasn't what we wanted. You know, it was just something that needed reshoots and editing and, and it was just a problem. But, but as far as, you know, the success that the show became, um, you know, Fra Frank's an immensely talented guy and, and I signed on to the show to work with him. So, so you know, I, I just think everybody rallied together and, and I got lucky, you know, and, and, and he wasn't when particular episodes came in, but I, I don't think that was a reflection on my vision of the show as opposed to Frank's. I don't, I don't think that's fair. You know, he's, he's, a, he's an artist and, and, and hopefully someone considers me one, but it's not, it's not necessarily, I, I never wanted it to be like that. It wasn't, there was no adversity between me and Frank at all. And has he, has he gotten in touch with you? Has he seen this season? Well, we, tra we traded emails when everything first went down, mm -hmm. but you know, he's, he should start shooting a pilot next week. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, some of our, you know, like John Bernthal or Jeff DeMunn, who were on our cast, who I'm still in touch with. And, and uh, a lot of people who work on the show, some people are going over to work for him. So they, you know, we wish him well. And, and um, um, you know, but I think he's, he has moved on mm -hmm. and I'm happy for him. He didn't say if he watches it or anything like that? I don't think he does. I think it's probably, it's probably painful, you know? I mean, it, cause it, you know, and I'm sure all of you know that when you're working on, working this hard, on a, a, a show and everybody's giving it their all, you become very, very close and you're working with uh, incredibly talented people and everybody's challenging everybody 
and then to suddenly, you know, be out of that is painful. You know, I know from personal experience. So, so I'm, I'm sure he's he's done the right thing and focused on his next project, the next work, and he's just like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, make sure the next one's great, and, and you know, he's he's doing something for TNT, and I hope it comes together.